Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel, I need you my love. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe, beloved. I have to adore the air. The wine must have heard your voice once it echoes and sings like you. The soil must have tasted you once it is laden with your scent. The trees honor you in gold and blush when you pass. I know why the north country is frozen, it has been trying to preserve your memory. I know why the desert burns with fever, it was wept too long without you. On hands and knees, the ocean backs up the beach and falls at your feet. I have to adore the mirror of the earth, you have taught her well how to be beautiful. Love comes quietly, finally drops about me, on me in the old ways. What did I know, thinking myself able to go alone all the way? You are not beautiful, exactly. You are beautiful in exactly. You let a weed grow by the mulberry and the mulberry grow by the house. So close in the personal coil of a windy night, it brushes the wall and sweeps away the day till we sleep. A child said it and it seemed to. Things that are lost are all equal, but it is not true. If I lost you, the air would not move, nor the tree grow. Someone would pull the weed, my flower. The quiet wouldn't be yours. If I lost you, I would have to ask the grass to let me sleep. I am yours as the summer air at evening is possessed by the scent of linden blossoms, as the snow cap glimpses with light, unit by the brimming moon. Without you, I'd be an unleaved tree, blasted in a blackness with no spring. Your love is the weather of my being. What is an island without the sea? The greatest bliss is in a kiss, a kiss of love refined, when springs the soul without control and blends the bliss with mine. For if desire alone inspire, the kiss not me can share. The eye must beam with chest and gleam. That would my soul desire. What fond delight does love excite when sentiment takes part? The faltering sigh, voluptuous eye, and palpitating heart. Yeah, flee too fast. Sweet moment, last a little longer, mine. Like heaven's bow, a fade, a go, too tremulously fine. Someone will walk into your life, leave a footprint on your heart. Turn it into a mudroom cluttered with entrusted books, children's mittens, scratchy squares, where you linger to unwrap or ready yourself for rough exits into howling aisles or onto frozen corsets, explosions, into the great outdoors where touch is muffled, noses glisten, and breathes tap. So that when you meet someone who is living your life, you will be able to wrap stiff icy mitts and look forward to an evening in spring, when you can hold fold winter away, until your next encounter with a chill so numbing you strew the hearts and chamber with layers of a rural garble. And if I were to say I love you and I do love you. And I say it now and again and again, would you say? Parataxis, would you see the world revolves anew, its axis you? You and I have so much love that it burns like a fire, in which we bake a lump of clay molded into a figure of you and a figure of me. Then we take both of them and break them into pieces and mix the pieces with water and mold again a figure of you and a figure of me. I am in your clay. In life we share a single quilt. In death we will share a single coffin. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.